and welcome back to Divine Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today we are here for another cozy tutorial. Yes, that's right, another cozy. You're probably sitting there going, how many cozies can you actually make, Nicole? Well, today we're going to be making a can cozy. So let's get started. We are here to make a can cozy and um, I'm doing one in Halloween fabric. Why not? We're coming up to Halloween. Um, so this is one that I just made with some scraps. Um, if I go into a group of sewers, I know that it's mine and it fits on your cans perfectly. All right. So the things that you're going to need today is your general sewing supplies, wonder clips or pins, thread snips. You are going to need some pinking shears. You're going to need something to turn your project out, a rotary cutter, some rulers if you... Um, you don't need any really big ones so you can work with your smaller ones and you're going to need some fusible fleece and some cotton fabric is what I'm using today now this is a cozy yes and it is going into the cozy list but for this one we does it doesn't matter what we use in this we can use fusible fleece in this one so it makes it a super easy project to do and we don't have to worry about doing any quilting and we can also use our scraps so this is definitely a fat quarter friendly a scrap busting idea and it makes a perfect gift like even with Christmas coming up especially here in the summer months um, that we're all drinking you know cold beers and stuff like that or um, soft drinks so you can put one on there and it's good to go all right so the first thing that you need to do is go, grab your supplies obviously you're going to cut two pieces of fabric you can have them matching that um, or you can have them one color on the inside and one color on the outside it is not reversible though this one is definitely not reversible and you're also going to need your fusible fleece onto either your exterior or lining it doesn't matter what it goes onto but you want to cut your pieces at five inches on the short side and on the long side we want them to be nine and a half inches all right and I can see that a little bit of my um, interfacing is just coming out past that so I'm just going to trim that off and once you've got them all cut what you're going to do is you are going to place them right sides together how adorable those little fuzzy spiders okay I'm using a matching thread today so I'm using a, a black thread but you can use whatever color you want you can you don't even have to match your thread if you don't want to just remember these are a can cozy and you can do whatever you want to do all right so once you've got that um right sides together what we're going to do on one of the short ends we're just going to put some pins in there and that's where we're going to start and stop okay we want to leave a little bit of a gap right there okay and then we'll place some pins um just to hold it all together so it doesn't move on us okay you don't need a lot of pins but just making sure that all our raw edges are lining up okay and then what we're going to do is we're just going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to start here and we're going to start with a back stitch and then we're going to use a quarter inch seam allowance and with our needle in the down position we're going to go all the way around till we get back to the other pin and we'll back stitch there once we've done that, we'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. So let's head over to the sewing machine. Okay, so once you've done that you can remove those pins out of there okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pinking shears if you don't have pinking shears what you want to do is just take some of the bulk 
and it'll probably be easier to show you on this side just take some of the bulk out of these corners if you've got pinking shears we're going to go all the way around except we're not going to trim up the bit that is open okay so i just start at a corner and then i'm just going to take that excess off um, without going into my stitching that i just done and then on this side we'll just come in so you can see there i've left that bit because that's where we're going to turn it and we will press that and it'll sit nicely for us okay so keep going all the way around and just be sure not to clip into your stitching all right get rid of your rubbish and you set them aside now what you're going to do is you're just going to put your fingers in and i like to just put my index finger in right up to that corner and then i'll just pinch it and push it out and you can see that that gets it to come out really quickly and easily okay and then i'll just get my poking tool and i'll just poke all my corners out and run it along my seams okay get those corners to come out nicely out okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab our ironing pad just bring that down a bit closer and what we're going to do is we're just going to poke these ends in okay and just get them to line up and for now i'm just going to sit a wonder clip on there and then i'm just going to focus on the rest of my cozy okay and I'll grab my iron and give that a press as I'm going. Now you want your, because if you're using fusible fleece, you're going to want to have your iron set at a medium, low to medium heat. Okay. All right. So once you've got all that done, what you're going to do next is you're just going to take that wonder clip off and you're going to press this end really nicely and that's going to crisp that right up and then what we're going to do is just pop that wonder clip probably two because it is um a decent size opening on there and just hold it and now what we're going to do is we're going to just start in the corner and we're going to top stitch all the way around using an eighth of an inch seam allowance okay so head over to the sewing machine I'll just get this back out of the way so i'm not crashing into everything so head over to the sewing machine if you need to put a little bit of washi tape for your eighth of an inch um, and you're also going to lengthen your stitch length as well okay So now that we've got that all out of the way, we have top stitched that, and you can see here that it's top stitched. Okay, you can't very well see it on the black one, but anyway, now you just need to pick which side that you're going to use. I'm going to use this side here as my um, outer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them as right sides together, and I'm going to align up my raw edges, and I'm going to pop a couple of wonder clips on here. To hold it in place our opening is now closed which is great we don't have to do any hand stitching and now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the sewing machine and instead of stitching on that stitch line we're going to use a quarter inch seam allowance we're going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end and we're going to just do as i said a quarter inch seam allowance all the way along okay get rid of any of your long threads okay and now what you're going to do is just going to um finger press that open a little bit it doesn't necessarily have to stay open it just makes it easier to go onto the um, can and now we can turn that in the right way and at this stage I like to give it a bit of a press okay it's 
grab our can and you can see they just slide on and off really easy and then all we're going to do and I'm not sponsored by coca-cola but anyway then what you do is you're just going to slip that on and you can see there that that has now covered our whole can and that is our can cozy and as you can see I've made them in different sizes this was a it wasn't as wide as this one I like them at the five inch but this one here I've made I think this was at four and a half inches maybe a little bit smaller it was just some scrap fabric that I had and I really it was the last of this fabric so I really had to make one um, for when I go on sewing retreats but that is it that is how quick and easy it is to make a can cozy well thank you so much for joining me today I do appreciate you being here this is a great scrap busting uh, tutorial that we've had today I hope that you enjoyed making your can cozy you can make them in any fabric as you see and I also have it in a sewing fabric as well so get out those scraps make sure you've got them at the right size grab your um, fusible fleece that you've got left over as well and get making your can cozies don't forget to share over in our Facebook group or on Instagram and you can do that by tagging me um, at Devon Lee Design Studio but that's it from me today have a wonderful day everybody and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and also hit that like button but I will see you all again next time for another great sewing tutorial have a wonderful day and get lots of sewing in and I'll see you all again next time bye for now